Earlier today, uh, I did mention that I had a first world problem when I ran out of hazelnut coffee uh, at Panera. And I need to give a little bit of background to that. First off, it's a Saturday morning. And I had a student that wanted to give up a little bit of time on Saturday morning to get together and do a little bit of math, uh, understand a little bit better. So I wanted to give you an idea of why someone would get up, why someone would go to Panera, and the impact of hazelnut versus not having the hazelnut coffee. And it's, it's pretty significant. So uh, let's go to a couple of slides here first. Uh, this is a slide of the types of problems that we were working initially, looking at trigonometric identities. And as we were looking at these identities, uh, trying to solve uh, values of, say, secant and cosine, uh, when you have tangent and so forth, and then uh, verifying trig identities. And this is just a whole bunch of algebra on, uh, on trig functions. So let's look at uh, the first one. And this is how it went when I had my hazelnut coffee. First thing you do, we have our uh, results like you. Go ahead and write this now for tangent to be positive and cosine to be positive. And you should be here in the first one. So now we're going to be in the first one. Let's go ahead and draw our triangle. So we draw a triangle. And now we have tangent is 3 over 1. This is the angle we're looking at. So um, the hypotenuse is going to be 3 squared plus 1 squared, square rooted, which is 10. Square root of 10. So now we know the hypotenuse is square root of 10. We know that cosine is going to be x over r, which is 1 over square root of 10, or square root of 10 over 10. So that's cosine. And then secant is going to be r over x, which is square root of 10 over 1, or square root of 10. Okay, so with hazelnut coffee, this is the way that we were able to go through and work our problems. When we ran out of hazelnut, uh, and we moved on to the second problem, and I'm going to work 24 because without hazelnut, uh, it was just it was a little crazy. So I did get the light roast, uh, but it wasn't hazelnut. And uh, so here's how problem tw number 24 went without. Uh, hazelnut coffee. So what we're going to do with 24 is just write everything in terms of sine and cosine secant is 1 over cosine plus sine over 1 over sine cosine. Okay, I'm going to cut this short because it is absolutely crazy and driving me crazy. You get the idea. This shows us that all of this craziness is equal to that. Okay, so that is what happens when you don't have hazelnut. It was only a short time. We were able to overcome it, and our first world problems were overcome. I did get hazelnut. We were able to go. And now that I'm at home and it's later in the day, I'm able to get my caffeine through a cooler source.